Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review today of an application called LocalCast. So I bought a Chromecast uh, for about $20, $29 from Amazon. It's uh, gone down in price a little bit and uh, it works really well on my, on my TV. So I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but it only streams certain apps. So things like Netflix, YouTube, uh, those all work fine, or any tab from a, a Chrome browser. But I have some local videos that normally I play with, with VLC media players since I really like that. And it works well for viewing on my uh, Nexus 9, but I wanted to stream that uh, easily to my TV. And of course, with the Chrome Chromecast app, I can broadcast whatever is on my screen directly to the TV and that works okay but sometimes there's little uh, uh, borders because the Nexus 9 has a 4.3 screen and uh, movies are in 16.9 so what happens is that you get little black borders and sidebars and things like that on an HD TV 16.9 ratio display so I wanted a, a essentially a media player that I can install on my uh, Nexus 9 that would then broadcast directly to my my Chromecast. Um, the other thing I notice when you're, you're mirroring your display is that you have to keep the Nexus 9 display on. Um, I usually dim it down so I can save battery, but um, to me that's not ideal either. So a native, a native app or player that kind of supports uh, uh, Chromecast directly wouldn't have that issue. You can start streaming it to Chromecast and essentially kind of uh, power off the display in your Nexus 9 or any Android tablet and then uh, you're fine. So let me kind of show you what LocalCast looks like. It's free to download. Um, they put some app, you know, some ads on it now and again, but it doesn't pop up when you're you're watching your movie. Um, which is which is great. So sometimes it comes up on the full screen when you're done, uh, say viewing a video or what have you, but uh, it doesn't interfere with with viewing or Chromecasting at all. So I've been watching the second season of The Blacklist and kind of making my way through uh, the episodes, and I'm almost done. I have a, I have a few left, uh, seven or eight left, and I just want to quickly show you what that kind of looks like. Um, using local cast. Now, the other thing is that you know a lot of people are worried if if it can support a certain format or not. And what I have here is basically an MKV uh, container that has uh, X.264 video and uh, audio in AAC, I believe. So these files are kind of small. You know, they're they're 300 megabytes. Uh, for a 45 minute show essentially, but they look pretty darn great. So what I've done is I've set up my phone to record my TV screen um, so I can show you what that kind of looks like. So let me go ahead and connect to my, my Chromecast in my office here. And you can see that the uh, TV changed to the Chromecast uh, uh, logo. And then let me just play a quick video here okay. and once it starts going I'm just gonna shut off my screen let it run for a while so you can see what it looks like one or two more of these experiments go south and someone's going to get wind of what we're doing. I'm going to fast forward a little hey bit, guys, see if I can get some different uh, lighting uh, and shots. And 31 red... Well, I mean, it's born. It grows up. We're looking into every phone code, every correspondence, every shred of data that we can pull on Julian Powell and... Tell me what the hell happened today? I suppose I should. You stole Powell out from under us, and then an hour... Told me your name. 
Okay, let me go ahead and disconnect from the, uh, the Chromecast and get back to my app here. So, Alrighty then. That does it for your scholarships and financial. So there's one of those apps when you're kind of done viewing your video that comes up. And like I said, it doesn't come up all the time and definitely does not interfere with uh, watching videos. So I think that that's, that's fine. The, the ad uh, or the app developers got to get some kind of revenue out of this. But in any case, for me, local cast is pretty much uh, kind of the local media player that is Chromecast compatible. So I was a little bit disappointed that VLC wasn't, but I'm happy that I found um, uh, local cast. And so far, it's uh, it's been working great for me. I know some folks have, have uh, uh, reported certain issues with certain kind of formats, but I've not seen that at all. So uh, if you're looking for a local media player for your Android tablet or phone that you can then uh, cast to a Chromecast uh, natively, then I highly recommend Localcast. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments and uh, I will answer it as soon as I can. Thanks guys, talk to you later.